My name is Kainton the Genius, and today we are going to be performing linear regression using Python in Jupyter Notebook. So basically, linear regression is a data science analysis that helps to find the relationship between a data set, between variables in a data set. So basically, we are trying to find relationship between, sorry, let me take this brush. So we are trying to find y is equal to mx plus c. So basically, if we have the equation of this function relating them, then we can predict new values of y. In real regression terms, we write it in this way, y is equal to a function of x, and which is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x. So in textbooks, this is what we are going to see. In this analysis, we are going to be doing using Python, we are going to determine beta 0 and beta 1. In regression times, these beta 0 and beta 1 are called regression coefficients. So let's get started. Python uh, is what we are going to use. For Jupyter Notebook, we are going to use uh, is an application you can get free when you install Anaconda. Anaconda is a distribution of Python, and you can get it for free. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. So if you subscribe to my channel, it kind of motivates me to keep making this lesson. So please click on the subscribe button below. So you can subscribe and don't miss an update from me. So if you go to the Anaconda folder on the program files, you can see Jupyter Notebook. So go ahead to open it. So Jupyter Notebook is a browser-based application. So it means it actually starts a server and then gives you an interface on the web to work. So let's get started. So I'm going to say new and I'm going to create a new Python 3 notebook. So the notebook opens in this way. Now, don't worry about whether you know how to use Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to be explaining to you as I go. So we've actually started a new notebook. This is how the notebook GUI looks like. So the first thing I want to do is to rename this file. And I'm going to call it linear regression tutorial. Okay, so that is the name I would like to call it, and you can see it's renamed. So if you click on the name, you can have option to rename it. So the first thing we want to do is to import NumPy as NP. So import, again, NumPy is a, a, a library available for you, for you to use to manipulate data in Python as NP. It's also called a module. Another thing we need to import is called matplotlib, matplotlib, and matplotlib is a module that you use for plotting. Matplotlib.pyplots, let's call it PLT. So these short names I'm using at the end, they are called aliases. So this aliases makes it possible for you to use a shorter name instead of the long name of the module. Then finally, we are going to import linear regression module. And this linear regression, we are going to import it from another module called sklane.linearmodel. So from this module, we are importing uh, import linear regression. All right. So to make sure I don't have any typographical error, I'm going to just run everything. So if I run everything and there is no error, we can find out, we can see that everything is fine. So this is the data we are going to use. Let me teach you a little trick on how to transfer this data from Excel to Python. Before we do that, let's just write a, a small, a bit of code. So we are going to have x equal to it will be an array, np.array. So, so we are we are having a oh, sorry, what is this? Alright, so we are going to have this array inside inside this um, curly braces. So we have y values np.array. So at this point, we now want to transfer this data, the data values for x and y into uh, Jupyter Notebook. So we are going to do it this way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy this, just copy it and just click on here. To paste it, you need to use transpose. 
So go to transpose as you can see and just paste it. So at this point we can just copy this, copy it, and at this point it will be easier to paste in here. So I'm going to just paste it there. Uh, then I'm going to actually remove all these things that have been added here. So that is the next thing you want to do. So after now, I'm going to also do the same for the y value. I could have phased this up, but uh, I think I'm almost done with it at the point. All right, so we've imported the values for x. Now let's do the same thing for y. So let me copy this for y. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to also paste it right here. So let's just replace with commas because comma is the spot going to be used to separate the values right here. So if you got to this point, the next thing you want to do is to click on the run button so that you make sure everything is fine. So I like clicking on the run button to make sure everything is fine. The next thing I want to do is to create a linear regression variable. So to do that, I, let me call it lean rate. That's the name of the variable is equal to linear regression. So this is actually a linear regression variable that I've created. So I'm going to run it to make sure everything is fine. The next thing I want to do is to reshape the data. So this is something you don't have to worry much about at this point. So the data that needs to be reshaped is x, x, x values, x dot reshape. So this is a process called pre-processing that I'm going to talk about a little later in my data science uh, uh, tutorials. So we have x dot reshape, x dot reshape. So it's not R shape, it's reshape. So I'm going to run it again and the error goes away. So the next step you want to do, I'll recommend you write down the steps uh, so that you'll be able to take them by yourself. The next step is to fit a, a regression line. So to do that, you say x is equal to x dot, sorry, so you simply say lean rate dot fits x and y. So just run it as well to make sure there is no error and that is fine. So it displays this, everything is okay. The nice thing is to try to make a prediction using uh, the, try to make a prediction using the regression fit that have been created. So it's simply Let's say a new value of y, let's call it y predicted. So we are predicting value of values of y using our model. So let's say lean rate dot predict and we give values of x. This time what is happening is we are kind of doing away with the values of y we already have and we are predicting values for y that we are going to use to fit this line. So when you see the graph, when we plot, uh, create the plot, it becomes clear. So at this point, I'm going to run and everything is fine. So at this point, we have our data set, we have a regression fit, we also have a, a predicted value of y that is going to be used for the prediction. So let's now do a scatter plot of x and y. So I'm going to say plt dot scatter with x, uh, x and y, then I'm going to now say plt dot plot x y fred. So this this what I'm writing now is the regression line being fitted. The first one is a scatter plot of our data. So we are going to fit a regression line through a plot of our data. So color, uh, I didn't know what I'm doing. Color is a false array. Okay. And then we are going to show this plot. PLT dot show. All right, so at this point, I'm going to just click on run to run everything. So, yeah, so this is what it should be. So, the blue plot, the blue scatter plot, is the regression plot of our data set, the data set we have here. And then the red line is the regression, uh, the linear regression line. Now, how does all this have to do with our equation? <laughs> so, sometimes this can be very funny. So, now, what you need to understand about this is that 
we have beta 0 is called the intersect and beta 1 is called the slope. So we need to find these two values and plug them into this equation to have our uh, linear regression uh, model. So to do that, you simply say, uh, so I'm going to just print out the value of lean reg dot square. So I think this is a syntax. Uh, and I'm going to run it. Okay, so I have an error. So print lean reg dot square. Square is not defined. I think it should be an underscore. Right? Uh, no. Lean reg dot square. If I'm not mistaken. So let's see. I think it should be double F here. Let's, see. let's try to run it again. Linear regression has no attribute square. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this is the correct way to write it. So the coefficient is 2.14. And again, let's try to get the intersect. Print lean rate dot intersect. So let's run it. Hmm. Lean rate. Okay, so lean rate has a typo. So now we have the coefficient and we have the, uh, we also have the, 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 the intersect and the slope. So we plug it in. So let's first write them out. So here we have beta zero is equal to, beta zero is a, is an intersect is equal to 12.05 and beta one is equal to 2.14. So plugging it into this equation, let me take a different color. We now have y equals beta 0 12.05 plus 2.14x. So this is the equation relating the data set that we have. So this is how to perform linear regression, how to determine the regression coefficient and the, the regression coefficient to linear regression. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. If you have any question, please leave it for me in the comment box below. And later, after now, I'm going to now be talking about uh, polynomial regression.